Hello friends, it's my pleasure to welcome you to my channel Redzer Graphics and Multimedia and in today's video I'm going to show you guys step by step on how you can create simple business card using Photoshop step by step tutorial. But before I dive into tutorial, if you have already new to this channel, remember to hit on the subscribe. So with that being said, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to come to the file from the home tab right here, click on file and make sure you choose new. You, can, you have to come to the top right here and this place this is where you need to type in your design name business card design okay so having type in business card design you have to come to the weight right here and make sure you type 3.25 then the height should be 1.75 right here you need to make sure you select inches at this point here make sure you select inches then for the point here, make sure your resolution is 300. And then right here, make sure you choose CMYK color and the likes. The next thing you need to do is to come down below here. Make sure you click on create. All right, next thing you need to do right here is to press Ctrl minus to zoom into the entire workspace. Next thing you need to do is to go to your tools bar right here. Make sure you guide your, you pick your ruler, both vertical and horizontal and make sure it snaps to the edge of the shape next thing you need to do is to come to the home tab right here go to object from object choose canvas size and this is going to pump up then for the width right here type in 0.25 then for the height here, make sure you type in 0 0.25 and then come here and click on OK. So you're going to add a safe zone. So you have to go back to your ruler again. Make sure you drag your ruler, both vertical and then horizontal and make sure it snap to the page. Do is to go back to image from the home tab right here and make sure you choose canvas size again then you have to come here also and type in 0 0.25 this allow you to add a bleed area by 0 0.25 and then make sure you hit on ok so with this you are able to create a uh, standard business card layout in photoshop so the next thing to do is to start our design to start and play with some of tools and some of shapes and uh, we use it to form a professional simple business card next thing we can do now is to go to tools bar click and hold down uh this point here you have to choose pen tools having to see your pen tools then you have to make your pen to use your pen tools to make some parts Then at this point here, you have to close the part. Good. What you can do next is that you need to make another, uh, you need to adjust your part. Then having adjust your part, so the next thing you need to do is to uh, go back to your layer panel right here. Go to the background layer. Then after you get to the background layer, you have to uh, come to the shape of tools right here. This time around, you need to choose your rectangular tools. And then you have to come to the home tab here. You can change the color so that you'll be able to differentiate from one another. Next thing you can do right here is to draw with uh, draw your rectangle this way. Then after you make a new rectangle, then the next thing you need to do is to uh, go to edit from the home tab right here and make sure you choose uh, free transform parts. Then the next thing you need to do right here is to right click after you choose a free transform part is to right click and make sure you look for skill. Then having choose a skill, then you have to come to the top right here and make sure you skill this way. And make sure it align with the shape that is existing on the workspace already. Once you're done, then you click on this check mark to accept the transform and make sure you click on yes. Then you can close up the shape window. Then you have to select the new shape and then adjust it this way and uh, try to create a little bit gap in between the 
red shape and the new shape next thing you want to do right here is to come to the layer right here right click on the layer and make sure you look for duplicate layer so the duplicate layer you can name it overlay and uh, click on ok so the duplicate layer what we are going to do right here is to go back to the rectangular tools and this time around we need to add stroke to this duplicate layer so we can make it in a different color so let's try and use yellow color and uh, we can make the width to be 40 width so you have to press ctrl a to uh, select everything and type in 40 then press enter key on your keyboard so we're going to have a stuff like this next thing you can do is to hide the layer okay then we have to fall back to this particular layer right here so what we can do right here is to make a duplicate of this layer for you to do that you just have to press hot key on your keyboard that is a very shortcut key to make a duplicate of a layer then when you make the duplicate of the layer you have to make sure that this layer here is a little bit uh step below than the first one one more thing you can do here is to double click on the new layer so when you double click on the new layer you can change the color so this allow you to differentiate from one another next thing you can do is to make another duplicate of this particular same layer for you to do that just have to press hot key on your keyboard and uh, make another simple uh, layer this way then you have to double click on the layer thumbnail or so so you can also change the color this allow you to be able to differentiate properly so you can see we are able to make a different layer and uh, press hot key to make a duplicate then you have to snap this at the top this way then you have to come to the layer right here double click on the layer and make sure you change the color to another color so you'll be able to differentiate from one another one more thing you can do right here is to take this particular layer into the bottom of the first layer so you are going to have a very stuff like this so you can select on the layer and take it down a little bit more so you are going to have a stuff like this next thing you can do right here is to select this particular layer having select this layer you have to go to file then go to place embedded to check my picture from this uh, folder then we have to look for the picture you want to add into this particular design so I'm using this image right here I have to click on place then one more thing we can do here is to increase the size of the image you can just drag it this way and uh, once you're able to increase the size of the image you can position it in area you would like to have the image okay so once you are able to position it in the right way next thing you can do is to come to the check mark here and click on here to uh, approve the transform one more thing you can do here is to come to the opacity right here make sure you turn down the opacity so you'll be able to see the shape at the, at the back of the picture so this simply means that we need to drag this image down a little bit so that uh okay so i'm i'm good with this one more thing we can do here is to go back to the opacity make sure you turn back the opacity right click on the image right now and then uh, make sure you click on create clipping mask good so you are going to have a stuff like this next thing you can do is to come to the blend option right here at this point here you have to choose dark color Having to see that color, you can come to the opacity right here and turn down the opacity a little bit. And make the opacity 90%. Okay, so next thing you can do here is to add appropriate color to your business card. So you have to fall back to this particular layer right here. Come to the layer thumbnail double click on the layer thumbnail so this allow a color wheel to pump up at this point here i'm going to change this color code into this so this is the color code i use for this particular point 
then you have to hit on OK. Then we have to fall back to this uh, new shape right here. This time around, we need to double click on the layer thumbnail or so to bring out the color wheel. So I'm going to press Ctrl here to alight everything and press Ctrl V. So this is the color I'm using for this point right here. Then you have to hit on OK. Next thing you can do right here is to fall back to this particular shape right here. And then you have to double click on the layer thumbnail from this point here. And then use your color eye, eye color dropper to pick this dark color and hit on OK. Next thing you can do right here is to fall back on the second shape right here. Double click on the layer thumbnail and pick this particular color here and hit on OK. Next thing you can do is to fall back to this layer. And this time around, you need to look for your overlay layer right here. So you have to make it feasible. Having make it feasible, you have to go back to the rectangle right here. And then you have to click on this color wheel right here. And make sure you click on here. And then pick this particular color right here. And hit on OK. So the color is going to be update from this point right here. So you can go back to your pick tools and uh, go to the blend mod blending option right here. Then you have to go back to the shape tools right here. Select the rectangle and make sure no fill. Select here and make sure no fill. So you'll be able to see the picture. Next thing we can do here is to come back to blend mode right here and uh, we have to play around with the blend mode. So for the blend mode, make sure you choose color. So you are going to have stuff like this. So we are done with the uh, hard work of this particular business card. So the next thing we are going to do now is to incorporate text into this business card. Okay.
this fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it light, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it light, I never miss that crack, taking big swings with my hand in the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I bring what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? They wanna say my name, but they holding back They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right, it's still got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather read than be led I'll fill the seeds I can spread with every word that I said. How's it supposed to be? How's it supposed to be? Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it light, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it light, I never miss that crack, taking big swings, hand in the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel?